Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Bravely Default episode. We're here. It's 3 in the morning. I feel like playing. Let's continue. So first, we got a party chat here. Let's go ahead and just take care of this. The Swordmaster Sting. That Kamizumi. We lost an entire squad to that swordsman alone. Thinking back on it, we probably only survived because he let us. He seemed all calm and peaceful, but as soon as he draws that sword, he's a hurricane. Just talking about a about all the wounds gave me throbbing and that same sword master and commander of the mercenary black blades is our is a, is our adia's teacher i'm sorry i guess that's another secret i kept from you but i didn't want to believe the stories if it was too painful for you you're free to walk away you know no one is forcing you to join us in this journey what anya you don't have to say it like that I fear I haven't the time to hesitate or the leisure to doubt. We must press forward. Yeah, Agnes is kind of mean, man. It's kind of cold, bruh. Like, chill, dude. She's going through something. Do I go here? Welcome, Wind Vestal. I see you have companions, too. Well met. I am Daniel Goodman, commander of the Shieldbearers. Zatz has already filled me in. It seems we have you to thank for getting Zatz back to us. Much appreciated. The thanks are mutual. They helped us out as well. You did well to repel the Swordmaster for one of your age. I am suitably impressed. With you on our side, we may well turn the tide. It would certainly rally the troops. We did not fight him off. Our opponent withdrew. And we have not come here to join your war. A vessel such as I cannot take part in such conflict. Please do not misunderstand. Oh, I see. You could have been a bit less blunt on this. But I... Well then, to what do we owe the honor of your presence? My task here is to awaken the fire crystal. Once that is done, I intend to leave this realm immediately. Oh, so you have come to quell the seething magma in place of the late fire vessel. Exactly. That is why we need your help. Do you know of a way into the temple? We are doing all we can to find one. But we have not found a way through the lava yet. I see. I am sorry we could not be of more help. We will, of course, do all we can to aid you. A way in shall be found. You would do that? Even though we cannot fight in your war? Of course. The shield bearers welcome the Vestal and her companions. Feel free to rest your travel weary bones in town. Dats, show them the way. Forgive us for not being able to lend a hand. Not at all. Leave the fighting to us soldiers. It is our job, after all. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> There's a save guy right here. Let's go ahead and uh, quickly... Okay, don't need any of that. Let's go ahead and quickly save here. Okay. Quick save a Got a party chat, symbol of the shield bears, and again, um, if I'm if I'm not talking very loud, it is three in the morning. So, Commander Goodman really lives up to his name, huh? Down to earth and understanding, right? Everybody here loves him. Soldiers and town folk alike respect him too. He's the reason the shield bears have held together this long. He's the glue, and he practices what he preaches. He's a paragon of self-defense. We never fight to take anything from anybody else, ever. So Tiz, mind if I ask what's got the Vestal and Adia all in a bunch? Er, it's kind of... Girls are complicated things and it's a foolish man who asks too many questions. Yeah, certainly sounds complicated. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, head into town, I guess? So I'm guessing this is locked, right? 
Who goes there? Greetings, brother. Can you let us pass? Corporal Dax, I'm afraid this area has been put under lockdown. I see. Well, we'll just have to take another route then. Fair enough. Okay. We'll keep heading to the side then. Is this the town? Heart's Child. Okay. Welcome to Heart's Child, Bastion of the Shield Bearers. Make yourselves at home. Oh, the heat is incredible. Is this town in danger of being swallowed by the lava too? If it gets any worse, we may have to think about evacuating. Ever since the Fire Vestal passed into the light, Mount Karka has been raging without cease. The women of this town must be made of strong stuff to put up with this. I could see myself falling for a strong woman. You might even say I favor them. This is the place I have been seeking. Here we go again. <laughs> You're a funny fellow, Ringabel. I'm going on ahead to the commander's residence. Once you've seen the town, you should come and join us. It's that building you can see in the middle of town. Catch you later, then. Later, dude. <clears throat> okay, another party chat. A lot of party chats. This town is awash with sadness. I never truly knew the depths of war's tragedy. It creates nothing, brings happiness to no man. Why do we persist in this madness? Because both sides have beliefs that I can't let go, I suppose. So something so precious that it warrants the death of countless innocent people? The world is faced with a crisis, dire as it has ever seen. And this is what we are doing? Humans fight to secure peace as they envision it. The trouble is, everyone's envision is different. I fear I cannot understand. However lofty the ideals of the sword and shield, the fact remains that they are engaged in murder. Wherever people gather, emotions run high, and justice and truth are subjective. Where the majority has reached consensus, it is difficult for any one person to resist. Even so, I don't want to be the sort of person who just accepts all that is given. Me neither. <clears throat> At the very least, I swear I will take no woman for granted. I'll give my all, always. And there's the sad stranger. Well, we know and love again. Okay. Um. So there's the inn. Let's go to the inn first. I'm gonna give it a sleep. <clears throat> and I guess we'll check out the town, right? A few weapon shops, a few... Hopefully there's some better magic here. I've been waiting for some new magic. Uh, okay, reflect, dispel, ooh, Aurora, okay, that's kind of really what I was looking for there. Okay, we'll go ahead and buy all of those. So nice, now we have that second Aroga, which is super, super nice. Okay. Okay, this is better. That is expensive, but it's a lot better. Okay, let's buy two defenders. Let's buy two of those. Let's see. Hmm. No, we don't really need any of that. We'll buy one of these for Tiz, I guess. Ooh, these are... Ooh, trying to suppress his fire. That might actually be used to spend all that money now. So I guess I'll just keep it. Okay, put that there. Put that there. I forgot what else I bought. Was was that all I bought there? Oh, no. For Tiz, I also bought the mail, right? Yup. There we go. Buy this for Idea. And the Black Cowl for Ring-A-Bell. Okay, so... She needs the Black Cowl. 
ring a bell needs the holy meter. Okay. That should help a little bit, everyone. Okay. Cool. And uh, really, Agnes is the only one that didn't get anything upgraded there. Let's go to the item shop and see what they've... Do you got anything that I need? The last time we did a town update. Let's check on the town. How are you guys doing? Okay, it seems to me they are still working. Okay, so there's nothing new in town to check. The only other thing to check is... Can I buy any equipment from this guy that's actually better? Okay, so I could buy a spear for Tiz, but... It doesn't really help. I guess we're just good on that, right? And then the other thing that I want to check is I want to make sure I have the right ability as far as Tiz goes. Two-handed. Okay, wait. Sword lore. Okay, that's what I needed is sword lore. I wanted to make sure his sword, double-handed and sword was on there to make sure he's super strong. Okay. I think that is everything, so we're going to go ahead and save. Save. And I guess we'll get moving inside the house because there's nothing else to check out. Everyone's equipped. The magic is bought. Okay. Moving inside. Ah, you've arrived! We've been waiting for you! Allow me to introduce you. This is the Commander's wife, Eleanor. Welcome to our humble abode, Windvestal. We are honored to receive you and your companions. Such beauty! Commander Goodman is a very lucky man. Very lucky indeed. <laughs> you are kind to flatter me so. Thank you. It is no mere flattery. I speak from the heart. Shut your trap, Ringabelle. My husband has told me to receive you and your companions as guest of state, Vestal. Please make yourselves at home. Unfortunately, in a time of war, the hospitality I can provide is limited. Oh, there's no need to go to any trouble for us. I'll prepare some dinner now. It should be ready in a little while. She seems nice. <sighs> the commander is so busy with the war effort, he rarely has time to come home to his lovely wife. I sure hope this war is over soon. What if you surrendered? That would put an end to the fighting, at least. Surrender is not an option. Please consider your words before you speak, Vestal. I agree. Even if we did surrender, and this war ended with the sword bearers victorious, they would only seek to invade other realms to gain more territory. In other words, others would face the terrors of war next. That is why we must fight. You are right. Thank you all for your patience. Dinner is served. The dining hall is this way. Oh. Uh, ring a bell? Where are you off to? Off he goes. No doubt he spotted another pretty girl. He'll be back before too long. Back to the Council of Six. Okay. <sighs> this is most regrettable. Most regrettable indeed. The Wind Vestal was as good as ours. Are you well enough to be here, Victoria? <laughs> I am stronger than I appear. Much stronger than you, in fact. Is that not right, Victor? Just so, Victoria. Alternance pales in comparison to you. Of this, there is no doubt. See, you have no place being concerned for my well-being, Alternus. Hmm. Moving on. We have word from the Black Blades regarding the whereabouts of the Wind Festival, Lord Marshal. The Wind Vestal has traveled to Eisenberg. She is likely seeking out the Fire Crystal. So, 
she aims to awaken all the crystals. We should have had the fire crystal in our possession already. However, the Black Blade slaughtered the fire vessel, and since then appear to have done nothing but twiddle their thumbs. If we captured the Temple of Fire without first crushing the shield bearers, the battle would shift to the temple. The crystal could be destroyed in the process. That is no doubt what Kamiizumi aims to avoid. Our goal is to wield ultimate control over the crystals. Therefore, the shield bearers must first be purged. I hear that you and the Swordmaster are old friends, your lordship. This must be why you place such faith in him. Oh, that is the first I've heard of this. I trust him more than any other man. And the Black Blades that he commands are the elite of the elite. The Vestal will never defeat them. They will see their mission through to the end. Are you sure you do not overestimate them? I can raise that whole realm to the ground in three days. Do not get carried away, Victoria. You have already faced defeat at the hands of the Wind Vestal once. How dare you! I'll not stand to be insulted by the likes of you, Alternist! I merely speak fact. Unlike you, the Swordmaster can do more than simply destroy. Did you hear that, Victor? What a loathsome man! Just so. Please. Refrain from using such language against Victoria, Alternus. What? If you do not, you risk coming to harm. Ah, see. You cast your magic on me? Are you all right, Alternus? I am afraid it seems my warning came a bit too late. Relax. I can do more than simply destroy. See? You'll survive. But know this. My spells can scatter your body to the four winds at a moment's notice. Just you try it. Care to see which is faster? Your magic, or the time it takes me to skewer you on my sword? Alternus! Surely you would not turn your blade on Victoria? If you did, I would be forced to act. And there is no surer way of finding death than that! <sighs> Cease this! The both of you! This is the Council of Six. We meet for earnest deliberation. I will not tolerate further victory. Sir. Understood. We will leave the matter of the Wind Vestal to Commander Kamiizumi. If anyone objects, speak now. Nobody? Then it is settled. We are done for today. Alternus, get your wounds tended to. Oh! Ow! 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 Where were you off to at this hour, ring a bell? I saw the most exquisite girl and followed her out of town. She was a fine specimen indeed. You're incorrigible, ring a bell. So, what's all the moaning about? Did you hurt yourself? Yes, I was on the receiving end of a rather sharp whack. It seems my advances were unwanted. Oh, makes sense.
did you get back, Ring a Bell? Before dawn. Ow, ow! This is hardly the time to go wandering off, you know. Well, what's our next move? We're at a loose end until we find a way into the Temple of Fire. I'll try to find my own way in. Right! I think it's best if we split up to cover more ground. Time is of the essence, after all. We shield bearers haven't just been loafing around here. We've already tried everything we can think of. We looked into landing from the sea, and we even tried cooling the lava. None of our attempts were successful. If we had an airship, we could sail in no problem, of course. Perhaps we could go and awaken the Earth Crystal first. I don't think we'd make it into Eternia, where the Earth Crystal lies. It's surrounded by craggy peaks, so there's no way in on foot. When I was sent to Caldisla, I boarded a high-powered airship owned by the Duchy. Even if we repaired the Echelot, I don't think it could make the trip. We're stuck, then. Are you telling the whole truth, Adia? You're not hiding anything from us again? No need to be rude, Agnes. <sighs> Instead of just standing around, why don't we lend a hand to the shield bearers? You mean that? We could certainly use the help, but... Are you sure? No, we are not. So you want to go to war now, Tiz? No. I want to help them end this war as soon as possible. It sounds like more meddling in the business of strangers to me. And why not? We have no other way forward. And yet, before us stand a multitude who need our help. We cannot turn a blind eye to them. I agree with Tiz. Sign me up. Really? It would mean going up against your master, leader of the Black Blade mercenaries. It is clear from what I have heard that the shield bearers are the white, and the sword bearers are the black in this case. Black and white? What do you mean? It is just how I see things. Black and white. Good and evil. Oh, so you see us as the good guys. Can't argue with that. <laughs> I'm with you too, Tiz. These damsels in distress must be rescued from the ravages of war. Trust you to make it about that. Tiz! I hope you'll join us too, Agnes. I promise we won't get too mixed up in this conflict. We're more likely to find a lead by traveling around than simply waiting here. Anyway, come with us. Great. Let's go talk to the commander then. Okay. Part of chat. Eleanor's home cooking. So what do you think of Eleanor's cooking? Pretty great, huh? Absolutely. The sausage was tender and juicy. The potatoes were a gooey dream. It's all delicious. Sounds like she rolled out all the classics. They're the wartime. Beat them a lot. As you can see, this isn't the most fertile uh, patch of land. Potatoes are all that will grow. And meat shortages mean we're always padding out the sausage with something. All the more impressive than that such a feast came from meager supplies. No doubt it was her love for me that gave it such flavor. Yeah, I'll bet. I'm sure poor Eleanor's got plenty of love stocked up by now with her husband away. With the commander stuck out on the front lines, he barely gets home these days. I just feel awful for her, stuck in that big house all alone. Well, I hope we can pitch in to help her out somehow. Another. Keeping up with the ring of bell. A DA, care to guess who I was just with, hmm? Curious? It's quite the surprise. Fine, fine. Tell me about this woman you've met. I'll put up with you for a while. So last night I chanced across the most unusual lady. She was crawling along the walls and ceilings. I couldn't say an acrobat or some such I expect. An acrobat? Hmm, I suppose she could have been practicing. 
Ah, or perhaps she was on patrol. Noble girl, keeping her home safe. You make her sound like a guard dog gecko thing. And wait, why were you in her house? Ah, uh, just remembering the feel of her elbow strike is all me a flutter. Oof, I can't keep up. Okay, so there's nothing in here we can do at the moment, right? No, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Fair enough. Let's keep moving on. Let's go talk to um, the commander here. I guess it's our next move. It's our next plan of action. To the commander we go then. We run, we run, we run. Enemy battle. Okay. That's a big old worm. Okay. You will truly aid us. My eternal thanks. This should raise the troop spirits. Only until a way into the Temple of Fire is found. I understand. Thank you for giving thought to our plight, Wind Vestal. I'll head back to the old house to check on Sats. Roger, Dats. Take good care of the lad. I hope you both recover from your wounds soon. It'd be nice if you had time to go home to your wife sometime, Commander. Be seeing you, Tiz. Is there something we can help you with, Commander Goodman? The sword bearers have a stronghold called Grap Keep. Could you go and scout it out? What do you expect us to find there? Four years ago, a terrifying weapon known as Toxic Mist was unleashed in the East City near the Keep. A hundred thousand shield bearers garrisoned there perished in this fiendish smoke, and the East City became a mass grave. We still have not identified the nature of this toxic mist. If we can pin down what it is made from, we may be able to neutralize it and create a cure. Grab Keep, got it. We'll be on our way then. Grab Keep is to the northeast of here. I'll notify the guards to let you through. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, so we have the main mission up top, and we got a side mission if we if we go to the old place with Zats. So I'm going to, of course, follow the side mission first. Okay, but first we got some things to fight. I'm going to go ahead and um, leave it on auto here, because we're doing the same exact moves. Hopefully we can even kill it before it attacks this time. Never mind. But a deal will take care of it, no problem. And I think right now we're a little over leveled still, which is good. You know, we're around level 40, which I don't. I think. I would guess at this point probably we're, be around. Ooh, burp. Like 35, so. Um. Yeah. Okay, but guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a comment, ask for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.